Evie Richards, round one short track winner. Tell us about that race today. Yeah, what was that? I don't even know. Like, I won. I don't know. I'm a bit shocked, but so hot. I couldn't really think, but when Kate attacked, I decided if anyone was going to attack, I would go with them and die or don't try at all. So I'm so happy. Like, sick start to the season, but I feel strong. Dad's been on the e-bike with me and he's been motivating me. So shout out to Dad for making me strong and powerful. So making me really happy this year to push that hard. Now the race strung out just before the lap you attacked. Did you realise that? Did you think it's going? I need to make my move now. Honestly, I don't know if I did attack. Um, I was just pushing that same pace that Kate was pushing, but I think she must have faded. So, yeah, she was the one who did the attack. I just le le leached onto it. So, yeah, thanks to Kate as well for leading out that attack. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Martin, podium, first race of the season. Tell us how this feels. Nah, amazing. Uh, and finish it off here in Brazil is just amazing. It's just near Chile, so a lot of Chilean fans are here, South America. So it's different to be here. It took me a while to be on the podium, like a year. So it's good to trust in the process and good to be back on the podium. I'm just so happy. It's so good to see you here. You had a turbulent 2023. Is this a sign of things to come in 24 for you? Yeah, let's see. I am not in a hurry. I just still enjoy my training, enjoy a little bit uh, being a racer. So I, I don't like to rush it too much or win like the first year. So it just uh, stress in my work and, and let's keep going because I just love the sport. Great work, mate. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Sandra, third place to start the short track racing here. Tell us about that race today. Well, it was warm, huh? Uh, especially, I don't know, coming towards the end, it was super hard, and I think that defined the race as well. Even though it didn't look super fast, maybe in the flat parts it was. And yeah, overall, I'm happy with my performance. I mean, I was there from the very beginning, and then towards the end, it got even ho harder and hotter. So I'm happy and satisfied with P3, and I mean, everything's set for tomorrow. It's a great start. Tell us about those moves out of the pump track. It looked like that was the spot to go before the downhill coming into the finish line. Well, I don't know. That was just one of the parts everyone wanted to be in front. And somehow it was not only one row, it was a double row. And someone went high, one left on the lower part. So I think that was one part that defined. But also the uphill was long enough to actually overtake. So I think it was a fair course to every rider, even from the back. back. But uh, yeah, I mean, the top spots are always, everyone want to be there. Top three, great start. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Rebecca, Rebecca, you've got some fantastic vibes racing here in Brazil. Amazing start to the short track. Tell us how that felt. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, that was super tough. It's a very... That's an introduction to World Cup racing and um, yeah, sometimes I think after a pretty long time away from it, you forget how hard it is. But um, yeah, I'm super happy that I found that fight in the last couple of laps because um, in the later stages of the races, I was like, mm, six, not bad, I'd be happy with this. And then yeah, I continued to fight to the end, so I'm really happy with that. You've had a turbulent summer of training, but obviously that Canberra heat from back home, does that help you today? It's very hot out here. It is so hot. Um, I think, you know, uh, I definitely don't have this kind of humidity at home. Um, but I think, you know, I have a lot of experience racing in these conditions. Um, and you'll notice that most of the girls up the front were the older ones. So uh, I think, um, yeah, it's just sort of experience and knowing how to handle it. Great start. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much. Luca. Luca, that was a fast, high-paced, short track race. Talk us through it from your point of view. Well, it was a surprisingly nice track. Uh, honestly, r during the during the recon, I thought, yeah, it's not uh, super nice with the pump track. I think I thought it's gonna hurt a lot, but in the end, uh, well, it was very nice to control. Um, I had Sam uh, on my side for sure. We are not uh, team teammates, but at least uh, Kenyan teammates, and we could help each other a little bit. Um, in the end, I also did not attack him 100% uh, hard. I don't know who was the strongest, but um, in the end, yeah, I'm super happy to provide uh, that um, finished picture to, uh, yeah, for Kenyan uh, together with Sam. And yes, uh, super, super happy because in the end, uh, I was not 100% sure about my, my form. Um, I was, yeah, for sure motivated, but I didn't feel the, 
the big weight on my shoulders yet. So, and uh, yeah, and, uh, in last year I realized when the weight is huge, I can perform, but for sure it's also a lot of stress. So I'm happy that I could also perform with a little bit less stress, but yeah, it's only the first race of the season, but the shape can't be uh, too bad. Great start, mate. Well done, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Ciao, back home. Sam Gaze, that was a statement. Mate, tell us about that race in the bands, number one. Yeah, um, whew, it's been a really difficult couple of weeks. Um, really hard to focus on my job at some points, but, you know, I come out here and put together a good performance. Um, yeah, I knew the start was super critical for me, and luckily, you know, a lot of the time I don't get lucky, but today I have to say I got lucky in the start loop. Um, and then from there, I was just trying to recover best I could before moving forward. Um, yeah, the heat is such a factor here, and the intensity of it for the first draw track. Um, yeah, so it feels like I swallowed a glass full of glass. Um, <laughs> but no, I was super happy. Um, good signs for the next two weeks. Uh, this has no relation really to the cross country, so yeah, I'll still see how that goes, but right now uh, I can be happy with a good start. It's a great start. We saw you and Luca having some words. Were you working together or a bit of argy-bargy there? No, no, Luca is a, is a great guy. Um, we sort of found a bit of a partnership and just trying to, you know, uh, keep the speed how we wanted it to do. And there's a big advantage racing from the front. And, you know, as soon as I got there, I realized the advantage they had. So we tried to keep it. And then, yeah, to be honest, I uh, really don't think it was possible to do the sprint. Um, I was completely on the limit, but obviously everyone else was too. So that's short track racing. Well, your limit's pretty good. Congratulations, Sam. Well done. Thank you so much, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who supported me to get here. It means a lot. They know who they are. Um, and also you know, for making a viewing possible in New Zealand and other countries, you know. New Zealand is a great country, a lot of potential mountain biking, so to fly the fern and be here and then be able to see it is a, is a privilege. So thank you very much, everyone, and uh, enjoy the rest of the races.